We thought we should have an act that was serious, thoughtful and mature. But then we thought, nah, this is Britain's Got Talent. So we've got a Scottish bloke who likes singing nursery rhymes over pop songs. It's Edward Reed. Can I ask your name, please? My name is Edward Reed. Go for it. Twinkle, twinkle. Absolutely unique. Thank God for you. Yes, for <laughs> you. Yes. Being the live semi-finals is amazing. I'm the happiest I've ever been. My first edition was crazy. Edward Reed was a revelation, and you just got swept away with it. My family and my friends say I'm a diva. I'm not a diva in real life. I don't want to be a diva in real life. I like being a diva on stage. I live just outside Glasgow. I teach drama, a group called the Nifty Fifties. I, I love teaching people, but I have dreams of my own. A dream is to sing in front of the Queen twice. Once because I've won Britain's Got Talent, and the second time because she's asked me back for more. Tonight's act is, um, I, I didn't know how I was going to talk the nursery rhyme. This guy's first audition, incredibly unique, but is that all he can do? I mean, how much can you do with nursery rhymes? Tonight, I've got to do something different, and I hope everyone gets that. My inner diva is going to come out like it's never come out before. It's the biggest moment of my life. Please welcome Edward Reed! Early in the morning, just as day is dawning, he puts the post bags in his van. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. Pat, he's a very happy man. I am Popeye, well, the sailor man. around wumbling free the wombles of Wimbledon come on we the telly tub of Let's go over to the judges. Simon, what did you make of that? You know what, Dick? I actually think I've gone mad tonight. <laughs> the whole show this evening, it's like some weird nightmare. I mean, you know, you singing <laughs> Twinky Winky and you've got two people in swimming trunks floating in the air. And I'm sort of sitting there thinking, am I supposed to like this? And amazingly, I do. <laughs> That's good news, Ben Simon. David, I love you, man. I think you're awesome. I, I mean, when you first came on, you know, and sang Old MacDonald Had a Farm, you had me. And I would watch your tape again and again, and I couldn't wait to see what you came back with. And I see you strutting your stuff in real life, and that's what it's about. It's your life. Live it, baby. <laughs> Great job, you're very entertaining, and I expect to see you in the finals as well. Wow. Look out! The Queen! Whoa. Thanks, David. Michael? Well, it, it's nice to finally see some happy tears on this stage. Um, yes. I think the surprise for me, as well as it being magnificently entertaining, and equally, if not more so, than your audition, is I really like your voice. I mean, you really <laughs> felt it out. We've had two huge Scottish power singers tonight who literally could not be more different. <laughs> <laughs> Amanda, did you love it? Oh, Edward, uh, I love you. you. What do you think this is like? My favourite thing of all.
all time, I, I have to say. And you know, we always say this show could change your life. This show could give you the money to buy some socks. <laughs> <laughs> I loved it. Thank you very loved much. It. Thank you. How did it feel for you? <sighs> it was magic. I, I, I thought I was going to be nervous, but I wasn't. I, something came over me, and I, I mean, I can't believe I'm on the sta this stage with an orchestra, dancers, and Aunt and Dick. I mean, I, <laughs> he's easy, please, he's easy. I'm so. I feel so lucky. I feel like the luckiest person in Britain. Well done. Oh, well, well done.